Guys, I cannot deal with this Nikon is dying stuff, okay? I wasn't going to make a video on this. Hold on. I just want to say thank you to the first Patreon subscriber yesterday, John Taylor. Thank you. You are the man. I wasn't going to make this video about Nikon, guys. Obviously, you can tell I just rolled out of bed. As soon as I opened my eyes, I started thinking about this. And it's because I have obviously been on YouTube the last few days, and all I see are all these Nikon is dead, the death and demise of the biggest camera company, or, you know, what was the biggest cam camera company, and, you know, uh, just all this Nikon is dying crap, okay? There's so much disinformation, guys, and honestly, I think most of the stuff is just clickbait. It's just once you just to click on it and listen to it. It's not telling you the whole side of the story, okay? And it just the fact that people are spreading anti-Nikon or Nikon is going to die crap is just ridiculous. Now, I've said a million times, I don't care about brands, guys. I happen to use Nikon, but if I wanted to use a Sony or a Canon or something like that. I don't think Nikon's any less better or Sony's any less better. It doesn't matter what you shoot with. I just happen to like Nikon. But talking about the death and demise of the company just because you represent a different brand is so ridiculous, okay? It's so ridiculous. Nikon has had a bad few years with camera sales. Absolutely. Their imaging products division, no lie, I mean, it's terrible, it looks bad, revenues are falling. But this is the same across the board with all camera companies. The camera industry in general is shrinking. Everybody knows there's been a million videos about people making, well, the reason is because of smartphones. Yes, that's apparent and obvious. Everybody knows that smartphones are robbing camera companies of a lot of business because everybody has a smartphone in their pocket. Not everybody is a, cares about being a professional photographer. The ma majority of people don't care about being professional photographers. So a good smartphone in their pocket is fine. We're seeing the contraction of camera companies across the board. And yes, some are losing more revenue than others some are contracting more than others nikon you know was 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 bad but so was canon so was sony so was fuji every single other company is losing money in their camera divisions because the industry is shrinking as a whole we went through a bubble guys a big huge bubble blow off top in the mid 2000s and now we're seeing the contraction of the market as you know new technology comes out and destroys old technology or improves on things so much that it changes an industry. We've seen this over and over again in all different aspects of technology. It's what happens. So the other side of the story, though, is Nikon is owned by Mitsubishi, which is, first of all, Nikon's a billion-dollar company in itself. Mitsubishi is a giant company, and, it's, and Nikon's under the umbrella of Mitsubishi. Nikon itself doesn't just make cameras and lenses. Does everybody know that? I mean, the biggest, if, in, if you're going by in terms of uh, operating profit, the biggest, uh, their biggest uh, section of their company is uh, precision equipment. Like, you know, their lithography, the semiconductor components, um, integrated circuit parts, stepper motors, things like that. You know, steppers, like all, there's so many different aspects. That's huge. They have a healthcare tech sector. And they have a uh, industrial metrology se sector. I mean, they actually made money in the precision equipment, like their lithography and stuff like that. Operating profit actually went up 21%. Healthcare tech went up 15%. Industrial metrology went down 1%, but, you know, it's not a huge drop. But, I mean, those are, hu those are their major sources of income there in giant other parts of their business, okay? Bigger than, in terms of, you know, operating profit, or, you know, it's bigger than their, uh, their imaging products. Nikon is a hundred-year-old company, guys, okay? Hundred-year-old company with billions of dollars in assets. The company's just going through changes right now. That's it. They understand that mirrorless cameras are the future. They completely, yes, they were a little bit slow with releasing the Z cameras, 
but they did a phenomenal job. Look how unbelievable. These are first generation Nikon mirrorless products and they did a freaking unbelievable job. They knocked it out of the park. Yes, there's things that need to be improved on that, that will, but the first generation products are crazy good. Do you guys remember the first generation mirrorless Sony products? They sucked really, really bad. Sucked really bad. Nikon has hit the market with these for their first ones and this is what they came out with. Nikon is focused. Have you looked into their uh, quality 4.0? They're trying to focus on quality. They've always been a quality brand and a very trusted brand, but they're focusing back on quality. That's what it is. And, and it takes time when there's big, huge changes like this in the market. It takes time to right the ship. So they're coming out with new mirrorless stuff. It's growing. They're doing all the right things. But it takes some, you know, it takes some time to right the ship. And it's not like they're bleeding money on every angle. They have bigger areas of their business where they're making money. And yes, it's going to take some time and some layoffs and things like that on the imaging side. But there's no death of Nikon around the corner, guys. You know, and I'm so sick of hearing it because there's just so much in the future for you know mirrorless cameras and, and tech camera technology we're just seeing a contraction of the market that's it you know what i'm saying so this is a little bit of a rant <laughs> early in the morning uh and i just wanted to get it out there i feel like it needed to be said i haven't seen anybody make a video like this and i'm just sick of the clickbait stuff with it so um you know Hopefully this helps you guys, and hopefully it's a lot of you guys have been, you know, sending me emails worried about it. So hopefully this quells some of your fears. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you. Till the next video, guys.